Well, good morning from Langer Sud. Langer Sud is where I am. <coughs> I'll tell you where I'm parked. I came up from Italy yesterday afternoon, um, across the Blanc, just after lunch, down into France, and we have instructions now to park in Langers, Langers, Langres, it's actually Langres Sud which is a, an exit off the main. If you're coming from, from Italy or you're coming from, doesn't matter, Spain or whatever, it's on the main road north towards Paris before the split. It's called Langers Sud, Langers. So you'll not forget it. <coughs> what do you think of that accent? Will I start a cart man now as well? Ray might be able to tell me how good my cart accent is. Or is that a Limerick accent? Hugh, maybe you'd know. Anyway, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm in this uh, secure parking in Langers, or Langres Sud. Now, I've never been here before and it was pitch dark when I came here, but it's so easy to find. You come off at Langres Sud and just follow, follow your nose. You come to a roundabout and there's a big sign, parking, secure parking. And it's literally just a minute and a half from the motorway. You don't have to drive far at all. Now I thought it was like, you know, some of these places you pull a ticket and then you go in. Like, all for trucks. I just pulled up to the barrier. And I was just about to go over and let the window down and the barrier went up. Beep. So, it must have some kind of a number plate recognition system. Uh, I don't know how it works. And I, I, <laughs> I might find out to my peril when I try to get out that I can't get out. But it should work. If it, if it, if it beeps me open to come in without a ticket, it should beep me to go out in theory. Uh, what do I think of this place? I think it's a brilliant idea for whoever set it up. Um, it's very, very well laid out. There's loads of spaces for trucks. I'd say you'd probably fit 500 trucks in here at least, at least 500. Now it was fairly busy last night, but it wasn't packed, but it was fairly busy. It's quite designed the same as Ashford Truck Stop really. Uh, the only downside I would say is I went inside and expecting a shop and a restaurant and showers and all that kind of stuff. Um, the showers, the showers are okay. But they're 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 like any showers you, you're going to get in a in a big par truck parking area. They're not exactly fancy and they can't be because all of the Taliban around here would steal anything if it's not nailed down. So the showers are okay. It's two euro for a shower, and then there's a restaurant. And I'm thinking to myself, looking around, where's the shop? There's no shop. There's no shop. You can't get uh, razor blades. There's no shop where you can get a can of oil for your truck. There's no shop where you can get, you know, a baguette or you know, a bottle of milk or whatever. So that's a, that's a, that was a bit disappointing. I thought that they should really, with the amount of trucks that's in here, that they they really should have a shop. You know, selling knick-knack stuff, like maybe CB stuff and, you know, clogs or maybe towels or, you know, people run out of stuff all the time. So that's the only downside I would see with it. Other than that, it's fine. So my plan today, um, I was here last night about half eight, right? And I've now been here 12 hours and 18 minutes and I should have only been here nine hours or 11 hours. But I was tired yesterday. And I just slept straight through. And I said, I'm not going to set my alarm clock now to get me up. Why would I? My task today is to get up to Milton Keynes. Um, I'll get up near it. I mightn't get up as far as it, but I'll get up near enough to it. That'll make no difference. I'm tipping there tomorrow, one o'clock. And I have to reload there and I have another collection around the corner from it somewhere. I don't know. Uh, then again, it, as I said, it doesn't bother me. Um, some people from here like to go up by Paris. I go by Reims. I always went by Reims. Whether I'm heavy or loaded, um, with, with feck all on, I still go by Reims. It's my, it's my road of choice. It's quiet, people say it's boring. Fine, I don't mind. I prefer to go by Reims, and that's the way I'm gonna go. So, I was just looking at my, my Google Maps, and my Google Maps tells me it's 500 kilometers to Calais even though I'm going to the train now it's 506 kilometers so five nines is 45 uh, five, so it's going to take me about six hours six hours five five and a half six hours it's going to take me to get up there from here there's the map so 
that's what it's going to take me. So um, I will pr more than likely. Yeah, I just go on up. I just dodge on up. I have, I have a little bit. I couldn't find it yesterday. I have some. That's my breakfast there. It's a bit of a stale baguette with some marmalade and butter. Now I don't need anything else for my breakfast, you know. Um, I have, I have, I ran out of milk. Actually, my, I didn't run out of milk. My milk went off on me. So I bought this. Oops, I bought this. This is, uh, it's dripping. Everything drips in the fridge because the fridge goes off at night. This is uh, the French version of milk. <laughs> It wouldn't. It's not great. I don't like the taste of it. It's okay for tea and that, but you can. It's not. It's not proper milk, you know. Um. So I didn't bother having any weedy mix. So other than that, um, I'm ready to roll here. I've done my walk around check. Uh. I'll just. I don't want to see it. I'm on seven minutes there now. I want to leave for another three minutes. So um. Let's turn it off. So that's it basically yeah we're just going to hit the road and today is saturday the 5th i think is the 5th of january i've been out on the road since the 20th of december so this is day number 16 is it uh, that i've been away and uh, i just can't wait to get home at this stage i just cannot wait to get home um i i'm gonna have to get a sat nav to find where my house is <laughs> nearly almost i'm gonna nearly need a sat nav to get me to have home Anyway, without further ado, um, I feel I'm just getting out of here. Because it should be a bit of a laugh. Oh, I didn't tell you what happened to me last night. I was coming up from Borgenbress over Nantua, heading up, and there was a split in the road. And one said Paris, and the other one said Leon. And what did I do? At a split second, I looked at it and said, shit, where am I supposed to go? And I went to, for Leon. As soon as I'd gone Leon, I realised it was a mistake, so I came off at the next exit. And rather than doing a U-turn at the payage, I kind of followed the sat-nav and it brought me, oh my God. It brought me up the mountains into this town. And I managed to eventually to turn around and come back down, but I was absolutely kicking myself. And it doesn't make any difference how long you're driving. You have to be aware. You have to be watching out for signs. I thought to myself, how many times have I come from Mont Blanc to Calais? Several hundred times, and yet, I still got lost yesterday evening. Yeah. So, oh, fucking twat. Oh. There is a lesson in it. Right, so we're nine minutes here now. Um, we'll film leaving here in a couple of minutes and then sure we'll dodge on and see. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Langers, I mean Langers. Okay. Let's go and do this and see what happens. As I said, any truck stop you go to, or any place like that that you go to, you're going to see more of <coughs> of Warbers, or Wabbers, or whatever they call themselves. You're going to see more of them than anybody else. You're going to see more of Wabbers <coughs> than anybody else. fairly busy here now last night <clears throat> lane departure system malfunction good that's that's a plus that's actually a bonus now let's see how this works on the way out work fine on the way in let's see will it work on the way out Yes, look at that. It's two barriers. Oh. Oh. Now we have a problem. Have you got a problem now? No, we don't. Isn't that just fantastic? Isn't that just brilliant, the way they have that done? 
technology is a wonderful thing always making sure when you come out somewhere I see the way they have it done on the road they actually have the arrows on the road just in case you know sometimes you could just a momentary lapse and you'd forget well this is lang langer so langer look at the bottles bottles and the rubbish thrown on the on the ground I'll give you two guesses what's in them bottles and it's not seven up There's always a camber on these roundabouts like you know like a, an adverse camber you know t so you you wouldn't want to come around it too fast there's a big salt depot there so it's 10 1001 and 901 Irish time or UK time so I'll just go into this tally pass here if the wipers have to come on as usual because if the wipers are not on, it won't work. The wipers have to be on for the barrier to go up because if the barrier's down and the wipers are not on, it won't go up. They're not as quick as the Italian ones. The Italian ones are much quicker. So we've done about an hour and 14 minutes in and around that. Um, we're just near the split. Never seen anything in my whole entire life, and I've been out here over the years, I've never seen anything like the amount of English cars passing me, heading up for, um, obviously for uh, Calais. It's gonna be absolutely stuffed with cars, English cars tonight. Literally every second or third car I've seen for the last hour has been an English car and sometimes three and four of them one behind the other. These obviously, um, the kids are obviously back to school in the UK on Monday as well. But I've never seen anything like it. Never seen anything like it. And I'm only on one section of the road. God knows how many are behind me and God knows how many are in front of me. But I, I'm kind of glad now I'm not going by uh, P&O because Calais is going to be absolutely wedged this afternoon and this evening with cars, holiday makers. So we're going to go off for Reims here. We're not going to go. Um, we're not going to go Paris. We're going to go Reims. I don't like that Paris road at all. Um, it's, it's unnecessary to go there. And the only reason I'd go there is if I was tipping there. Otherwise, you wouldn't see me anywhere near it. The weather has slightly improved. The fog has lifted a bit. Um, so 
so yeah I'll go on up as far as um, just trying to think where I go I don't want to stop even for my 45 minute break I don't want to stop too close to, to Calais anywhere up around there even for a short break I don't want to so we, we'll have it we'll have we'll see we'll see so we're just approaching uh, Summer Sue's. This is the place that I stopped on the way down. I took my uh, my nine hours or my 11 hours off here on the way down to Italy. And I'm gonna go in here now and take 15 minutes. Um, I'm still about four hours away from the train. And I don't wanna get sort of caught on hours, so I might go on and take another half an hour somewhere up the road, but I'll take 15 minutes here anyway. The beauty of this service area is that it's 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 accessible from north and south, but it's on the northbound carriageway. So, in other words, if there's any Taliban walking around in here looking for a trailer to get into, they don't know whether you're going up the road or down the road. Do you understand what I mean? Like, if this was if this was on this side and there was another service on that side, then anyone who was in here looking to get into a trailer would know that anyone that's here, English or Irish registered trucks, are heading north. Whereas they can't tell because everyone goes to this side. So even traffic coming southbound uses this northbound side here. Sorry, that sounds a bit confusing. But, uh, so they can't tell whether I'm, I could be heading to Spain. So there'd be no point in jumping in then, will there? Well, this is us down onto the the next part of our journey. It's a clown here, and this uh, Volkswagen doing a ridiculously slow speed. What a complete fucking idiot. Look at the speed this fucking idiot's doing. Look. Coming out onto a motorway doing 50 kilometers an hour. Fucking hours. Jesus, you can get them everywhere and then speeds off, you know. Anyway. We're just south of Reem. Uh, we have two hours and 25 minutes driving done. And we'll do another hour and a half or so. And we'll just stop then and have a half an hour break and dodge on from there. Serious amount of English cars and Belgian cars on the road. A few Dutch as well. Coming up to the last split now. Uh, for 
Brussels and for Paris. And other than that then it's just a straight road in as far as Calais and to the Channel Tunnel. I've changed the filter, I've changed the filter on that camera there. And there's a lot of a lot of other noise on it as well. I hope I've I've dealt with that. Unfortunately it's it's annoying when you're trying to listen to it when there's when there's other noises in the background. But we have four hours and 21 minutes done driving today. We'll have six hours driving done by the time we get to Calais or up to the to the train. And that'll leave us with three hours to do in England. So I don't know how far or how close that's going to get me to Milton Keynes. But it'll have to do. I'm not booked in there until one o'clock tomorrow. And I was told by Mark Gallagher, I think it's Gallagher anyway, that the place is a kip and that if you're not booked in until one o'clock, don't arrive before one o'clock because they'll just send you back out and they won't tip you. So go in there at five to one or ten to one, which are load or whatever it is you have for them. That'll be it. Done. So it'll be then, it'll be straight from there, Milton Keynes, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool sort of area and then left Hollyhead for the slog out to Hollyhead. I'm hoping, hoping to begin Hollyhead for six o'clock tomorrow evening. If I was in Hollyhead for six o'clock tomorrow evening, I might be able to get my break before I get off the boat in the morning. That'd be the ideal if I could. We'll have to wait and see. Place where the gendarmes used to hide waiting for all the Irish lorries back in the 80s and 90s. We'd arrive like sitting ducks. You know, the only safe time to go through this back then was at three or four o'clock in the morning. Because if you went up to St. Omer during the day, you were guaranteed, guaranteed, that they'd be waiting at the payage. Guaranteed. Now, I don't know whether they're gonna be here now or not. I don't really give a damn. I'm as legal as I possibly can be. So they can do their worst. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me we meant to be Outdoors, forever free. Sometimes you need to go. Take a step back To see the truth around you From a distance you can tell
There are always fucking delays at these channel tunnel. I don't. I much prefer to go by the. I know it's not going to make any difference for the amount I'm doing, but I mean, I much prefer to go um, to go on the, uh, the, the 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 ordinary boat. You know, this is fucking nonsense. This train is a disaster. You know, the delays. I was delayed for four hours on the very first day I'd been out. Four hours I sat in the train in a queue in uh, in Folkestone on the way over to Germany or over to to turn someone. Four hours. Total waste of time. I don't know what the delay is here now. Passport control, is it? It's more delay, 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 delay. You know, it's the, the boat is so much more straightforward. I said it's going to be about six o'clock. It's just half four now. I said it's going to be six o'clock before I get into England. I, 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 I'm probably not going to be too far out. I'd say it'll probably be, it could be six o'clock. Like this is supposed to be a quicker way to cross the channel, but it's not. You know, with all these checks and delays and stuff, it's just not a quicker way. And then when you get onto it, then it's disgusting. This fucking thing is. Yogurt. Something lane three for us. Lane three? Yeah. Times do they, how many times are they gonna check are they gonna check everything? Do you know what I mean? They've already been through the fucking scanner. It's fucking ridiculous. There's no need for this, you know. I've already been through the scanner once. I've already been through the scanner once. off again now in case you start fucking whinging.
Okay. My person. Good. <laughs> For once. Okay, let's see. Now, you can see that there, there's one, two, and then there's one on the far side, three. I don't know how, I don't know how they think, I don't know how that they think that this is quicker than the, than the boat. It couldn't be quicker than the boat, and it's not quicker than the boat, it's, it's slower than the boat. Slower than the boat. I don't care what anybody says about these this train, whether they say, oh, the train is handy. It's not handy. It's a it's a fucking excuse my language, you know what I mean? This is a fucking disaster. It's a fucking disaster. Will you go on, will you? Fucking dunce in front of me here. Fucking half an hour behind everybody else. Fucking half asleep. Just want to get out of here now. I just want to get out of here and get home. I mean, here, what time is it now, right? I, I got to the Channel Tunnel at half past four, right? And it's now... Hold on, I got it at half past, it's half past four. So it's half five here now, but I got it at half past three. Half past four French time, and it's now half past six French time. And I'm still not even on the train yet. Talk about a kip. This train is not is not it's not it's not better. It's not faster. It's 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 highly inefficient. Highly inefficient. Now. This train, this we're standing here waiting. There's all the trucks on the train now, and I'm just standing here waiting to get on my turn. 
But I'll have to switch this off now because they wouldn't be staring at me. See you on the train. Last time I came off this, I went out the wrong exit. <laughs> I went out the exit that the cars go out. Oh, I didn't care, feck it. Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous. A load of cars coming off one there now, look. I'd say I, I never saw anything like the queue of cars that was in uh, that was in um, France waiting to get off. I never saw anything like it. I could tell the way things were going during the day that there was going to be a huge queue and I'd say the, there was a huge queue in, in uh, Calais for the boat as well.
I'm just on the slip road now for the M1. Um, I have 11 hours and 29 minutes on duty today. And of that, I've done eight hours and 10 minutes driving, which is a long feckin' day. I'm driving since I got up this morning, six hours from Langers, as I call it, to the train. And another two hours and 10 minutes to where I am at the moment. That's eight hours and 10 minutes in total. And I feel every inch of it. I feel every mile of it. I'm tired now, I can tell you that I'm tired. time for people who, who drive below the speed limit on a motorway. I just don't have any time for them whatsoever. None. People who drive below the speed limit like I'm 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 limited to, to 90 kilometers an hour which is 56 miles an hour on a motorway that the speed limit is 60 miles an hour and you have cars driving along at 50 miles an hour in a 60 mile an hour zone. These people should be put off the road. Right, let's go around here and see what they have to say. Uh, delivery time is one o'clock and it's ten. Ten to one now. So, I can't give out that I'm too early. are fabulous places these uh, industrial estates where all these big companies all congregate together away from everybody else and away from narrow streets and residential areas these are the right places to have these the perfect places to have them huge big Waitrose place in there John Lewis DHL all the big names up here so I'll come on come on come on oh I just pull 
setting up the road here and um, printing this address. I don't think it's too far from here. in the day, like half three, you know what I mean? Two and a half hours in there to tip a few pallets. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Transport office. Hello there, I have to collect some pallets for Ireland. Okay. Go on one of the bays, yeah? Thank you very much. Number three? Number two. Number two. Okay, thank you. They don't need a reference, it's just pallets for PRM. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 11, pa 11 pallets, he said. 11? 11. Yeah, you don't have 11, no? Oh, yeah. I have already three on the loading bay, I know. Yeah, he said 11. Yeah. Do I need to go to the office? No? Perfect, thank you very much. They will let me know, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you continue to come in. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Five hours from here. After 500 meters on the roundabout, third exit. According to this um, machine here, it's going to be 9.30. before I get to Hollyhead and that wouldn't surprise me at all because it's ex it's not exactly around the corner. On the roundabout, first exit. Right, uh, well that's us now. After 400 meters, take the motorway. Back out onto the Mickey one, as they call it. From from Coventry up until almost the, the up up until way past Birmingham, around that area is the area where you're going to find trouble because they haven't got a clue how to drive. They've no notion how to drive at all. They're sitting in the car talking. I oh, man, man, look at this fucking idiot here. Look, come in in front of me and stand on the brake. Look, pull in in front, pull in in front of the truck and stand on the brake. You know. in front of the truck and stand on the brake. That's what you do. Complete asshole. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Just going around Birmingham now and you have to really keep, as I said, you have to keep your, your, your eyes and your ears and your toe 
ready for the break. Um, big, big queue of traffic southbound there, and it's all got to do with a breakdown on the slip road for the M42. I'll just give you an idea of the knock-on effect that even a simple breakdown has on traffic coming behind. It's just, it just builds up and builds up in no time at all. Like, this is not a Friday rush hour, this is Sunday evening. 25 to 6 on a Sunday night, you know, so just give you an idea that of the of the level of traffic that there is in the UK generally. It's serious amount of, you know, cars and trucks on the roads over here. But they have a great motorway network and in fairness, as I said already, the um, highway agency are very good at clearing as quickly as possible. Glad I'm not heading southbound, I can tell you that. Looking at that now, that's a mess. Now this is us off the M6 and I'm not sorry to be off the M6 I can tell you that because the roadworks on that are chronic there's roadworks for about 50 miles on it the roadworks go on for miles and miles and miles and miles and there's 50, an hour, 50 miles an hour speed limit but you know the funny thing about it is you, you know there's a 50 mile an hour speed limit which is 80 kilometers an hour right and you get cars driving <laughs> This is no joke, right? There's cars that are driving. Cars. Oh, shut the fuck up. I know where I'm going. Um, there's cars driving on the motorway, right? On a 50 kilo, it's 50 miles an hour, right? Say 80 kilometers an hour speed limit. And there's cars driving on the motorway at 40 miles an hour. They're doing 40 miles an hour in, in the fucking roadworks. In a 50. You know what, love, eh? You know the way the, the, the speed limit's 50 mile an hour? Yes, honey, I do, yeah. Well, let's just do 40, okay? Let's just do 40. Because, you know, play on the safe side, you know. If it says 50, do 40. I don't fucking... The fuck? I don't understand it, man. The fuck? It's 50 miles an hour speed limit. You can do 50 miles an hour. You don't have to do 40 miles an hour. Let's just do 40, play it on, play it on safe side, you know. It's just play, play it safe, just do 40. For fuck's sake. <coughs> aye, aye. Right, so I've just had my, uh, <coughs> had my last break before Hollyhead. Um, I'm sort of about an hour from Hollyhead at the moment. I had a nice bowl of soup, you know, and uh, I had some chicken noodle soup and a cup of tea and I have just have it made here now. And they have they have bins provided for drivers here which are great. Because I don't throw rubbish on the side of the road. I think it's disgusting. So let's see what time we have. Uh, it's nine o'clock. It's ten to nine. It'll be, uh, it'll be 10 o'clock by the time we're there. 20 past 10, half 10 by the time we're up in our lane and ready to park up. So we're gonna doodle on. Touch you a little bit later up near Hollyhead. End of a long few weeks. Please God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Keep me safe in between the ditches from here to Hollyhead. And yeah, and let's get home. Well, yeah. 
Ik zeg, wat is een grand tour? Wat ik haal? Goeie, erg goeie. Ja, wat team die kan hier dan niet doen? Ik wil toch wel een tandel liggen dat Lauren en Erde Leonen kunt zeggen. Ah, ja, ja, ja. That's what Welsh sounds like. If you want to know what Welsh sounds like, that's it. <laughs> A song in Welsh. Hey, it sounds really messed up, you know. Britannia Bridge again. It's the only section of this road where it's... It's, um... It's one lane, the rest of it's two lanes. To the port we go for the last time in I don't know when I'll be out again folks I'm afraid to say I have no idea when I will be out again I might never be out again I will but tuck in my shirt it could be quite a while before I'm out again But I did enjoy it, you know, it was hard work in parts, but I did enjoy it and I didn't have any real disasters either, which is the main thing. So we just book on here now and that'll be it. Shipping, please, yeah. What's the registration? It's 181 MN43. Is she on time? Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll see this. You'll see some here today. That's good. I don't know what way, I don't know what way they load these. Um, I would have been. These trucks now that are going on here would have arrived after us. Now I don't know whether they're putting them down to sides or what they're doing. Um, but there can be as much as 40 minutes in the difference between if you're putting the wrong place on this boat. In other words, if you're putting behind a load of drop trailers, you could be 40 minutes waiting to get off this boat because I've seen it. Come on. on the bottom deck for me. I hope now I'm not going to be stuck behind a load of We'll see now exactly where we're going to get put I hope it's in the middle somewhere not along the sides
Now you see, you see where we are now? They were positioned lovely here now, you see, that's the difference. You know, we're positioned lovely here now because we're right in the middle. And the, the trucks that are in the middle go out first and then the ones, it kind of goes from the middle out when you're unloading it, it goes from the middle out. So we'll be going first and then the ones in this lane will be going because we're actually at the, at, the, at, the whole, at the front. So we'll be out fairly quickly. That's 100%. Uh, right, I'm gonna go upstairs and get something to eat. Um, and then I'm gonna have a lie down and I'll talk to you when we get back. How are you doing? Are you okay, mate? Alright, how are you? Oh. There you go, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Good evening. Hey, oh, you <laughs> 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 it the the breakfast, please, it's scrambled egg, no? Right, egg. Breakfast, please. Fried, please. Uh, fried, please. Uh, no pudding, please. Okay. Everything else, thank you. No pudding, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. I oh, have toast, yeah? yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi, oh, yeah. Okay. Thank Thanks. Man, thank you. You have the butter? Oh, it's in here, is it? Sorry, okay, thanks. A lot of drivers already on this, but they're they're in bed. Do you know what I mean? Because these lads have to do a day's work after they get off this. And the only reason I'm up here is because I'm not doing a day's work after I get off this. Right. So that's it. Lovely.
Well, Ned. Uh, hello, Mo. Good morning. How's it going, uh, Ned? How are you? Oh, I'm very tired, Mo. I'm very tired, Billy. I have a pain in my tooth, and oh, I just want to go home now. Ah, oh, Ned, come on. That's not the spirit. Why don't we be back out again, Ned? Tomorrow. Uh, no, Ned, uh, Mo. No, 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 Mo. We won't be out for a while now again, Mo. Ah, oh, bleeding hell, Ned. Why would you come out and do another one? Yeah, Ned, it was great fun, wasn't it? Like, we had a great old crack, like, you know? We, we were a great old crack down Italy and all that, you know? And, uh, did a bit of tarmac and the whole lot. Ah, oh, yeah, come on, Miss Evan, Billy, we'll go with you now. We'll have the crack. Uh, no, gentlemen, no, no, no. I, I have to take a sabbatical now again. Ah, oh, Ned, you're no bleeding crack. I, I know that I'm no crack, Mo, but I'm, I'm just not able for this anymore, Mo. I just have to take a break. Bleeding hell. Hey, Billy. Yeah, Mo, what's that? We may find someone else to go with. Yeah, it's looking like that, Mo, yeah. Well, at least we agree on something for once. Shut up, Billy, shut up. All right, Mo, just agreeing with you, like, you know what I mean? Tell me to shut up when I'm agreeing with you. That's all I'm doing, agreeing with you, Mo. Oh, yeah, sorry about that, Billy, yeah. Right, listen, uh, thanks very much for watching a couple of videos and uh, hope you enjoyed the European trip, myself and Ned and Billy did. And uh, we'll catch you all again soon, maybe on an Irish video. Yeah, take care and thanks very much for joining us on our, on our, uh, on our... Shut up, Billy. Oh, yeah, okay, Mo, yeah, right, good luck. Bye-bye, bye-bye. I knew we'd be off fairly quickly because of our positioning on the boat. The odd day they're not here, but most of the time they are. I don't see any sign of them, thank God. I don't see any sign of these customs. means I can drive on out. You want that, no? Looks like the Stena is already in. So that's us out. This should be too, it shouldn't be too bad. We get back to the yard for, uh, should be there in about a half an hour or so. Should be.